there's been a lot of things on the, on the menus at different points. You know what? I, I'll tell you what I did once. I, I used to hang, a, hang around with a guy when I first moved to New York City. I used to hang around with a guy from Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, whose family was from Calabria. Um, and his mother used to make a pumpkin parmesan. She would bread pumpkin and, and fry it and then bake it with a little bit of tomato sauce and Parmesan cheese. And it was spectacular. I mean, it was one of those things that just blew my mind. And we would go to the club and then go back to his house at like 3 o'clock in the morning and then eat this pumpkin Parmesan because it was just delicious. And we were half drunk and all that kind of stuff. So I decided, being a smart guy, that I would make this thing. And I put it on a menu at one point, and it was, the, it was a disaster. It was the, I remember looking at it going out of the kitchen just saying, what am I thinking? Like, I am not this guy's mother. I'm not <laughs> an Italian. Like, <laughs> as if there was a question as to me being this guy's mother. <laughs> but I, I, you know, the, the one thing is, I always say this, that when it comes to Italian food, if you don't know how to make something the way someone's nonna knows how to make it, then don't make it. If you don't know how to make polenta like a nonna, don't make polenta. If you don't know how to understand the pasta the way a nonna makes pasta. Don't make pasta. It's simple. 